And then whenever you're ready, you can just kind of adjust your reins a little, just shorten your reins a little bit. And go ahead back into the trot and just get that same trot that you just had because that was really, really good. That's it. And then whenever you're ready, just go ahead into the canter. Good, well done. Just kind of sit back a little. Keep him very straight at the canter. You want to be a little careful he doesn't get overbent, especially going left. He'll overbend too much to the left, and then he needs to be bent a little I bit more to the right. You were too cute. Good. Shorten your range just a bit, and then bring your lower leg back a little, and just try to relax your hips so your knees are soft. Be a little careful that you're not getting a little tight up in the knee and the thigh. That's it. Good. Raise your inside hand again. Good, and then what you can do is you can just go straight along the fence and circle in the other corner. And don't be surprised if he spooks at the blue barrels behind the tree over there. He, for some reason, always spooks at those. <laughs> Even though they've been there for years? And, yeah. Well, they were on the side of the ring, and that was like, I had to move them because so many horses. I use them for building corners and stuff, and so many horses spooked at them when they were right outside the fence that I had to put them over there. Where they could That's so funny. Is somewhere. it the color? <laughs> Good. And then come straight back. All right, after cir circle again, and then come straight back across the ring. I don't know if I told you my horse is um, in aqua therapy at the moment. Oh, he geez. busted his medial collateral uh, ligament, part of his peroneus muscle. Uh, He's 17. Always seem to do something. Always something. They are the worst field animal on the Slow him down. That's it. Just think about making him a little rounder. That's it. Bend him again. Then go ahead and just start to spiral in again because he's just a little bit up against the hand. So you just kind of use that as an exercise to slow him down. Bend him a little more. Bring your shoulder back. Use your right rein to lower his neck. Supple him left. That's it. Supple him left again and slower. Go ahead and slower. And if he ever gets where you just feel like you, you know, it's funny, you he won't exactly run away with you, but you'll feel like you can't slow him down, but he's not really going all that fast. If you just walk for a second, it kind of diffuses the situation. I remember when I was schooling changes with him, I was telling Lauren, I said, you know, it's the worst thing. I said, I ask for a change, and he does it, and then he runs away with me, but he doesn't go any faster. And... Um, and that's exactly what he'd do, is he'd kind of canter, and I couldn't get him out of the canter. I'd be cantering at about two miles an hour, but um, <laughs> it's just him. I mean, he's just a little odd. Good. Well done. And now just go ahead and make the circle a little bigger. And as you make it bigger, just kind of work the outside rein and just think about getting him lower and softer. There. Well done. Very, very good. And then when you get a chance, just go ahead and do a little half circle and change the direction. All right, now this way you're going to bend him a little right, slow him down with the left rein, and then just as he's getting a little quick here, go ahead and just walk for a second. As you walk, bend, bend him a little right. Good. And then go ahead and try. What's up, pumpkin? What? Good. Bend him a little right again. And then walk. I fear you're telling me something. Good. Now bend him right. Use a little left rein. Good. And excellent. And then trot again. I was saying to your mom just now that if he gets a little strong and you feel he's funny in that you can feel like you're getting run away with but you're not really going any faster, just do that. Just come back, walk, and trot, and then walk, and that kind of settles him back down. There, well done.
And then when you're ready, right canter. Good. And sit back a little. And now bend him a little bit right. This is going to be a little bit more uncomfortable than the left canter. Good. Use a little bit of right rein. There, well done. Good. Try to bring your inside leg back just a little, but then be careful that you don't grip it. There, slow him down just a little with the outside rein as you bend him. There, well done. Very good. Go ahead, straight across the ring. And just do a circle or two over there and then come straight back. Think about making them very straight. That's it. Good. Use your left rein now without changing your bend. There, well done. Left rein again. Good. Then come straight back. Keep a little bit of right bend as you come straight back. Good, well done. Excellent, excellent. And then go ahead and circle here. Good. That's excellent, Abu. And then back into the drop. Excellent. Really, really good. And then just kind of supple him and try to bring his neck down a little. There. Really good. Excellent. And then go ahead and let him walk. We'll give him a little break.